What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today we're talking about alabrijes, which is what my kigu is, actually. I wanted to talk about this because it's close to Halloween, and I have some stuff to go do. I am going to Freaky Deaky PDX, and it's going to be a vibe, but I'm going to be busy, so I needed a straightforward video to make. And because it's Halloween, alabrijes are associated with the Day of the Dead, a Mexican tradition. So alabrijes are these very, very intricately made wooden sculptures that have like very, again, intricate painting and markings on them. If you want to look at my Kigu, here's like a picture from their website. It's super detailed and I love that about it. It is just, it's such a, it's such a literal trip to look at. And that's kind of their origin. Alabrijes were made when Pedro Ligeres had a fever dream on these mystical creatures that are brightly painted scouting Alabrije, Alabrije, when it meant nothing. So that's how both the name and the design came to be. And to some extent, these didn't come out of nothing. There is tons of history behind why these characters might have existed. And the cultural area had, you know, these mystical creatures long before this guy had a dream about them. It just added a name and a style to them as well. As a coyote Therian, I need to learn everything there is to know about both the physical animal coyotes and their spiritual history. Coyotes are everywhere in mythology, and it's awesome, and they're also a part of alabrijes. However, those ex those are every animal, they're and, and combinations of them too, like this chicken thing. And, you know, a while ago, I got this kigu, where I was just dressed as one for a while, and I always felt like this this kigu had something special to it, because it looks like it's from another dimension. So I love the design. I think they're super cool. I think what they represent is super powerful. Um, from Coco saying that they are, you know, guides to the afterlife to like <laughs> the guy who saw them thought they were demons. So there's all sorts of different interpretations and that's what's really cool and no interpretation at all. They're also just an art form. A lot of them are sold as like little trinkets and just art on its own merit just because it's cool. So all this, all this fantastical artwork, you know, I'm not disgracing anyone's family by, by having this Kigu for one. And for two, it's just, it's really cool how how unique they are and how much fun they are. They're, they're like, they're like spirit personas. <laughs> so, oh, oh, even more so, they're like sparkle dogs, <laughs> which could be sacrilegious to say, but an Alabrije sparkle dog would be so cool and like literally the point. <laughs> like, it. please make this, I wanna see it. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's a quick lowdown of Alibri Hayes, um, associated with Day of the Dead, has a lot more to them, was created by some guy just hallucinating, and they look the part too. So, I hope you like this video. Happy Halloween, happy Day of the Dead to those who celebrate, and until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye!